Gibt es So this week is Parsha Zoche. Parsha Zoche is, we have the four Shabbos, and Parsha Zoche is, can I get the Vuv from Yud Kei Vav Kei? So you have Yud Kei Vav Kei, Shkulim is the Gain the Hay, and Devach Shabbos is the Vav, which means you have the Vav is the, the Shisha Midas, the Zex Midas. Which means that there is Keser, which is Choshech, we don't know, we have no language for it. There's Choch Mabina, which is Abba Ima. They're going to a Yichid and give birth to the six Midas. And then the six Midas from the Vav goes into the Hay, which is turns into Malchus, which is the vessel, the machine that the physical Malchus Peh. The fact that we can speak, it's a goof. So it's the end of something, so there's room to speak. Before that, there's just rolling down because it's one after the other. It keeps moving until it stops. So we have Malchus Pen. That gives us the koyach to speak and to uh, to see it, to see ourselves. Without that, it would be nichlo. But the um, that the the Chachma Bina and the Midas, everything is here to be the intermediary between Keser and Malchus. So there should be the Keser Malchus Berosha, it should be Ponim Beponim, um, where Keser meets Malchus, which is we are going to raise consciousness so we can be in direct. Ponum Ponum with Kesser. Because right now it's all Acharaim, it's still through the Midas. So, this week's Shabbos is where we're doing, we're lining Parsha Zacher, which is Vayikra. This week's Parsha is also Vayikra. Vayikra Zukrashe is Loshen Chiba Vayikra El Moshe. And then it says Vadabar Hashem Elav. Vayikra El Moshe means that. Rashi says that he was just calling him. There was no, he just called. Ebesh to Kitshibrihi, which is the Midas of Atzilus, just called. Called to Moshe. What's Moshe? That's Das. Which means that it called Das. There was like a, I was just say, a, a reverberating Oyer Dvaravaya uh, that was calling to Moshe, which is calling Das. It was called Dor Vedoresh Pastusa, is Pastusa de Moshe. So each and every one of us, that connection, that thing that makes us uh, daven or, or, or connect to be in Vekas, that is Das. That's Das, Das Elian. So Kichibrichi called to our Das. And we can we can feel, we should feel that in the Kesha Shalt film, we should feel the calling, feel the the trigger to the back. That's where it's coming from. Now, so we have Das, but now this week we're being called into Midas. This week the calling is hitting in the Midas, which is the Midas are in the life, it's in the heart. From there it pumps, the Midas pump, and this is the live organism. It's an organism that is pure electricity. It's all oil, it keeps pulsing, it's receiving, transmitting. Every pulse is a electric pulse of voltage of midas that are being triggered from Kichibrichi, from uh, Atsilas. And when we are being called this week, after we had Vaikra, Vaikra El Moshe, Kichibrichi calls, he called, Ebishter calls to Moshe. That's number one. And then we're also going to be lining Pasha's uh, Pasha Zacher, which is the Vav Kenega the Vav, which means we're going to be calling the Midas. They're going to be, there's going to be a direct connection from Das to Midas that you can be Makasha with with the call, which with, with Vekas, with higher conscience, with getting rid of, of everything else. Now, Mm-hmm. 
How do we continue? How do we know? How do we know to trigger das? Where's the what's the button for das? How do I know where to find it? Go find das. How do I connect? It's just to connect to what? See the light and everything. Where do I connect? That's why we have a Malik. Now it it was that Amalek was a problem when we didn't know what to do with it. Amalek was a problem. Because he was a shikar chabaderich. He cools off the situation. After I'm having an experience, he comes, and while I'm just still processing my experience, he's already here to, to keel up, to put doubt in my head. But now that we know that we're going in, where Malchus is going in, ponem b'ponem with Kesser, which means I can, I can see how I, I can see shechin ebishter, ponem b'ponem, and everything, the way he manifests, how do I do that? I follow a Malik. Wherever I feel the doubt and the coldness and the um, the lack of, that's where my das is. That's where the das resides. Now also keep in mind that Everything that's playing out over here already happened. Everything that's playing out over here is just a reverberation, it's just an upclang from what is what what already took place. Because Yud K has everything figured out already. It's just Vavke when it comes into the Midas, which is means like this Yud Kesir uh Chachma He Bina Amadisgali, Amadiskasya. And and from there, it comes into to the vav. It goes into the midas. It's mispashat in the midas. That's where that's where malchus comes into play. Where zman begins. We start having start calculating time in real time rather than in consciousness, which looks like the the mishnah is. These are all consciousness of zmanim and measurements of how we measure time. But here we measure it in real time. So this is where it slows down. That's the nachash. Remember, the snake is moving; his head is there, and he's reaching his tail again. So that that is slowing down the process, which means that matchave Esther in Shushan Abira and Achashverosh is a consciousness. It's a consciousness. It's a light, it's a tremendous power, a panemius power that's able to meet face to face. But as it as it lands down here, it takes time, it's a process, it looks, it's in fragmentation. It takes time, it spreads out the process, so it looks like it was thousands of years ago, and it's something in the past. But really, it's an emanation, the, the energy that rolls, rolls, rolls. It kept pushing all the way down until it reached Malcha. So here we can express it. And we can play it out. And that is Amalek. Amalek is disconnecting Das. Amalek is disconnecting us from being present, plugged into Das. Amalek is here to slow time down. So when there's time slows down, it's not in Yechid, it's not in Oneness. And if it's not in oneness, we're in separation. And that's where Das dies. And that's why Homan once again wanted to attack now when it was Moshe Rabbein in the month of, of that the he passed on, that he died. But really, he mastered Moshe Rabbein and mastered that he went into Das to such bitl that he was able to rebirth immediately. He was completely surrendered to the process, so he stepped right into the next power, to the next Koyach. And this is Zachar Asher Asher Chalamari. This is where we're starting to remember. This is the showers that we're being called, tapped, touched on the head, to remember. To wake up, to remember that we need to go back to Yudke. And then once we have the Zechira, then it's going to come the Asiya, says the Rabbi in the Sikha, which is Purim, is when we're actually acting it out. Now all this, all this is part of the Piram Spiel.
a Pirim Shpil Pshat is that it's a how was this level of Torah Pnimi is going to land in Velt? How are we going to get this mission done? So there's a plan, there's a spiel, there's a plan. We came up with a plan, Chachma came up with a plan, which is Kesser's deepest desire, Sif Masim Shavat Chile, and also his Ratzin in Arich. They came up with a plan, a spiel. And this particular spiel is called a Pirim spiel. Hippel Pur, because it's, it's Pur is Goyal, it's a lot, it's a Goyal, and it's higher from, 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 from Ratzin, from choice. It's higher from choice because I'm just surrendering to absolute sur- surrender. Because if I surrender to a girl, then I'm completely out of the out of the equation. I'm taking myself completely out. What's going to be? What if I lose? What if I win? No, I'm completely surrendered. And from that place, when I'm completely surrendered, I hit a place of adalayada. And when I'm in adalayada, that's when I am in. I'm, I'm acquiring panimia satayra. Here in physical guv. And that's the pyramid spiel. It just has to show up in a, in a show. It has to show up in a cloth. In, in this particular cloth, it's colored, it's, it's fashtelt, because it's pnimi satir. It has to be done with, with tremendous, uh, with a spiel. It's a show. Achashverish, you can land and velt. And this is all. This is all we're dealing with here. The part of the spiel is that a malik is part of the spiel to trigger my das, to, so I'm able to find and climb the ladder with the midas. And then once we are, we're going to master it. We're not going to need the midas anymore. We're going to step in straight into malchus and kasser, which means be in yechida, in perfect relationship. Now, Purim is a time that there is hashra for this. Purim is a time where the, this oil is landing in Velt. It's here in our consciousness. Not it's going to happen. Not it happened. It's happening. It's happening right now. There, a Amalek just closed the top of the head, the Das, and we can't receive. So we think it's time of separation. But all we need is one moment of this, to step into Adal Yada. Because Purim, that energy is the whole other, the whole other. This is what we're dealing with, the whole other. There's, the lid is open. And Purim, there is this oil of the Asid Lover, this, this Yechida oil, the Mashiach oil. Because we're going into Adal Yada, we're going into a girl, we're surrendered because we don't care what the outcome is going to be. Because we know that in order f- to be aligned with it, we need to surrender. And he's all good, so I'm just surrendering. A Malik wants me to think that there's a problem here, that I need to figure something out. So um, there should be a memorable Shabbos. We should all wake up. It's a, it's a flash in the back, the back of the head. Cash is not It's a flash. It's a flash. It goes up to the center. It's a, it's like a blue blue light, blue fire. It um, touches the kesser from Das to kesser. So we should have an awakening and uh, we should just flash, flash into this Yechida, this one should flash into our Das in, and the Midas to understand. Have an awesome Shabbos.